We'll go back to Instables, everyone. So I'm going to go to the guys in the S&P 500. So we have one question, one question only yesterday. And that was if we we're going to continue on into lower lows. Again, mentioning that we still have room to run to the downside because, again, we did not get our divergence on the RSI. Again, we need to make sure we are getting divergence, getting higher lows as we are getting lower highs in the market. Looking for that pivot and looking for that confirmation, jumping out of oversold territory here. As you guys can see, we jumped just out of oversold territory, so we did not have those divergence. So more room to run to the downside. I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Now, before I jump into this, but you guys can do me a huge favor. Smash that like button if you find this video useful at all. Hit subscribe if you want to see my daily plan on exactly how I plan on playing into the market every single day. We go over candle structure, overall strength levels, and any key indicators that we need to be focused on. And again, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts, that we mention every single day in the Instables. And again, we mention any breakout that is worth looking at throughout the day. Go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spy again, just a reminder again, Putin mentioning that he is annexing four cities, meaning making four cities part of Russia, and the U.S. does have to respond. They mentioned that they may respond with extraordinary responses. That was before Putin did say what he said, so we're looking for how the U.S. may respond. That response very much could change exactly what happens here. Again, if they have peace talks with a possible de-escalation of this war and they let Russia possibly have these cities, then we could possibly have a major bounce back in the market. However, if the U.S. does what they did mention they would possibly do again last week the press secretary pierre mentioned last week that we would have extraordinary measures if russia did do this and now they have so we're looking for exactly how the u.s is going to respond if we're going to have possible peace talks as putin mentioned that we are ready to talk this morning again he mentioned we are ready to talk that means that we could have a possible de-escalation we'll see exactly what happens we're going to have to keep an eye on this news over the weekend i'm going to go over the market with you guys on sunday and exactly how i'd plan on playing into it again this is going to be predicated on what happens over the weekend if we do get possible major responses from the u.s or we do get possible peace talks with the u.s and russia over the weekend we'll see exactly what happens but as you guys can see as far as our current strength and our current candle structure as you guys can see we are closing below lows of the year here so again we have been looking to see if we can close below lows of the year here and now we finally have so we do have room to run to the downside and our question is now do we have strength to the downside as you guys can see on our macd this is representing our strength as you guys can see, we have been looking for a continuation on that decrease in buy pressure. We did get a continuation on that decrease in buy pressure. However, mentioning yesterday that we could get a continuation on the solid red bar because we were still pointing down here on our email lines. We were not pointing up for that possible pivot and we are still pointing down and that does show us that we still could continue on lower and that does also show us that we still could continue on with an increase in sell pressure. In my opinion, if we continue on with sell pressure, just simply looking for those continuations on those white sheeted lines for that early pivot and we will have more signals on that possible early pivot when we do have our 12 and our 26 starting to curl up here again as you guys can see prior we had the largest rally of the year when we started to curl up we started to curl up we were looking for that cross looking for that possible pivot and that's exactly what happened we had that pivot on that decrease in sell pressure looking for that confirmation finally did cross we did have confirmation on that continuation as we broke above the median of our macd so ultimately looking to see if we can get our 12 and our 26 to cross back up get that pivot on that confirmation here and then possibly continue on higher here for that confirmation above the median or macd will be very key now as far as do we have room to run to the downside the most important indicator that we have been looking for and in my opinion has been the leader of exactly how i've been playing into the market as you guys can see we were oversold we were looking for divergence we jumped out of oversold territory mentioning that we still have room to run to the downside because we have again not created higher lows as we are oversold and creating lower lows in the market looking for that pivot and that possible confirmation as we are jumping out of oversold territory would be that confirmation looking for that continuation on higher and very much looking for that pivot on our email lines as we do jump out of our sold territory would be very key and then we would be looking for that continuation breaking above the median of our macd at that point as you guys can see currently we do have lower lows but we are looking for larger lower lows as we would be looking for more higher lows as we are oversold we have not created many higher lows as we are oversold so in my opinion we have more room to run the downside we have a possible pullback a possible retest and then possibly we get that pivot here at 340 since 340 is a very 
strong level. Maybe we possibly get a strong bounce back from there. And again, that could be a large rally if we do get confirmation on our EMU lines pivoting at that point. And we do get confirmation like we did previously where we did get that cross with our EMU lines. Again, the largest rally of the year. Looking for a similar move here if we do continue on lower and test 340. And then again, get lower lows here on our price action as we are again getting higher lows here on our RSI. That is going to be very key if we do not get higher lows on the RSI as we are oversold. And then we do not get that pivot and confirmation jumping out of oversold territory. As we are creating lower lows here on our price action, then in my opinion, we are not pivoting. Again, that pivot very much would be confirmed um, when we do again create lower lows here on our price action as we do get confirmation here on our MACD will be very key. Now jumping over to our weekly chart again, we have been tracking our 200 weekly day moving average very key because you guys can see prior when we did have our COVID pandemic, we did break below it, we did jump above it, and then we had confirmation on that continuation on higher. Looking for the same thing here, looking to see if we can drop it below our 200 weekly day moving average and look for confirmation on that continuation on higher would be very key. Again, making sure we are getting confirmation, jumping above our 200 weekly day moving average will be very key for longs and swings. This is very key, guys. So jumping back to the daily chart, where exactly may we be headed next? Again, if we do continue on lower, besides looking for divergence, what exact support levels do we have left? As you guys can see, we have our pre-pandemic levels exactly here at 324. And our strongest next level that we have coming up here is at 340. This is the level that we had confirmation when we did continue on and broke out of our COVID pandemic. We did have confirmation and continue on to higher here at 340. So again, 340 is that next level. And then beyond that is going to be here at 324 again exactly here right before we did have our COVID pandemic. So again, keeping an eye on these levels, making sure we are staying cautious. Again, our next level here at 340. Again, keeping an eye on US's response to Putin is going to be extremely key. Again, I will be going over any updates on that situation on Sunday and that very much will predicate exactly how we plan on playing into the market going to Monday. Now again, with that said, if you are a day trader or you are looking for very volatile breakouts that we mentioned every single day in the intervals room, for example, if you guys did see AIMD, again, AIMD was a very nice play this morning that we mentioned in pre market on pre-market news as you guys can see here very briefly we have a major spike that did happen but within this spike we mentioned at about a dollar and 61 cents that we would be looking for continuation on volume within a minute we went up to 186 and then we did continue on higher went all the way up to 220 pre-market and then we were looking for that continuation we did break above pre-market high just above it on about a seven percent play however we did mention early that we were looking for that continuation when we were up about 13 percent continue on up about 23 percent again a nice play that we did have out the gate as well Again, if you're looking for these major breakouts that we mentioned every single day in the Instables room, go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a breakout alert today again. And again, all of you Instables that come over and support the channel every single day, I appreciate you guys. Truly, you guys have been coming over and holding it down for me. I appreciate you guys. We're going to continue to go at it. Stay patient. Take what the market gives us again. The market pretty choppy this week. We will let the plays come to us again. Staying consistent is the number one focus in this market, in my opinion. And again, all of you Instables that come over every single day and support the channel, hope you guys do have a blessed week and we're going to continue to go at it. Take what the market gives again, just staying consistent. Number one key that we will continue to stay focused on. And again, if you guys do you like this video it does help the channel grow and i do appreciate it very much and again god bless you all and i'll see you guys in the next video